come to you. Welcome to my corner, aka Deli Bao's Corner. This is the first episode of Deli Bao's Corner in the section of our YouTube channel that Luke and I share. And this section is gonna be obviously from the name Deli Bao's Corner, um, my section of the YouTube channel where I post art, tutorials, any other things that I do personally that Luke doesn't do. He's gonna have his own section as well, but. This section is for me and I will be uploading like workout routines, art, like DIYs. So if you guys are interested in following along our journey and uh, following along like my tutorials and art, go ahead and subscribe. I have been drawing since I was, I don't even know, as long as I can remember. Um, I used to draw like as a kid and I've just, art has always been something that circulates through my life. It's something that like I'm really passionate about. I like, I like to draw. So <laughs> I also mentioned in previous videos in like van life videos that I used to have a sticker shop, um, which is discontinued at the moment because of van life. Uh, I can't really do stickers on the road as much as I'd want to. I, I think it's best that I keep that separate. So stickers are on hold until afterwards, but I did manage to do some stickers for us, which I am gonna show you right here. Yeah, I made those peeker stickers. I wanted to add like a little touch outside of our van because, you know, to make it more like our own, but like a subtle, you know, like no one's gonna be like, oh yeah, that's Duke and Deli but it's kind of like it, you know, kind of thing. I didn't want to like put our name on the van and be like, have people search it up. I don't know, uh, privacy reasons. <laughs> but yeah, I made those peekers of Luke and I and I'm like holding the D and then um, Pudgy's holding the N and then Luke's holding the D, so it's like D and D, you know, those are Duke and Deli, yeah. <laughs> In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I do cartoons and my example is going to be Jordan. Uh, I mentioned in our other video that she is also doing Ben Life, so I thought it would be a nice touch to add a little peeker on hers as well. So if you guys want to see how I do cartoons on Procreate, continue watching. Also, sorry that I'm really awkward on camera. I, first of all, I don't know where to look. I don't know if to look to the screen or to the actual like camera. And yeah, um, I will get better. Uh, we just started YouTube, so you know, it's just gonna be um, progress, pro prog pro progress from here. <laughs> so don't mind the awkwardness. I also, I know, I noticed I talk a lot with my hands. Like, my hands are always moving in the videos, so, uh, <laughs> and I have so many pimples on my face right now, like, I think it's just the weather, but anyways, just wanted to make a note of that. I will get better at this, I promise. <laughs> Alrighty, so this is my iPad screen, and I use Procreate Pocket, I think, um, pretty much for everything. I have, like, a bunch of art on here. And I am actually going to be using a template. Well, not a template, but like kind of a template. So these are the ones that I did of Luke, uh, Pudgy, and me. And so I'm going to do one of Jordan. And what I do is I duplicate it, and then I select it, and then um, I will put the background color on. But all of this stuff, I'm just gonna like I slid them together and it combines them basically. I'm gonna delete that and I'm gonna turn that on and we're gonna see what we can change from here so that we can start drawing. Oops. So I get black um, and then I use the 6B pencil to do like my sketches first. Um, raise the opacity on this done so this is gonna be our sketch and I'm going to just like change a little bit of stuff obviously because this is not <laughs> what Jordan looks like um, this is me so first I'm gonna erase those pigtails I am going to be having her hold a joint because she requested that so we're gonna be doing that 
and I'm not really sure how I'm gonna like that probably uh, this it's like I never really have a plan when I do these I just kind of like <laughs> draw so um, this is just for the eyes and the yeah so hmm I'm gonna do this so first I'm gonna erase the mouse and then we're gonna change her hair because her hair is more like curly. I, I've always had a hard time drawing curly hair, but I bought these brushes um, on Etsy and so I think it'll make it easier, but for sketching, I actually need that still. So it's just gonna, we're gonna make it a little wavy and erase that. has like wavy hair. So. And then I think her hair. <laughs> so I'm gonna go on Instagram and look at what she actually looks like. So her hair, her hair is parted in the middle. So I will put that. It looks kind of crazy right now, but once we do the outline, it's gonna look way better. <laughs> and then I'm gonna do her lashes a little bit more dramatic because she has lashes, lashes. where she's just oops like okay this usually doesn't happen but lipstick I think with lipstick and then how do you hold a I'm really bad at fingers like it's my least favorite part of drawing <laughs> like wait is that how you hold it no and then you put put, put it like this huh freak oh, I'm gonna extend her hair a little bit like this way so you can see that she has lots of hair It looks funky right now but like I said okay I need to clean this what is going on and then I'm gonna do like going that way oh my goodness is it like my screen this usually doesn't happen oh smoky stick I'm gonna move this too because just so I have more space. And then the line goes there because she's peeking it over. So that's the effect I'm trying to do. And then kind of just fixing the lining so I know exactly what I'm outlining later. So um, I feel like, yeah. And then we're gonna do like a little, you know, like a little smoke. I don't know what's going on with my iPad. 
bad today. Sorry, guys. I don't think... Is that how you hold? <laughs> Sorry. Okay. I don't think this is right. If you guys think I'm drawing this wrong, leave a, like, I don't know, hands comment <laughs> in the um, comments. But... As an artist, oh my god, that looks terrible. Okay, hold on, sorry. This is, as an artist, I've never known like directions of how to freaking draw hands. That is good enough to me, honestly. I think. I think it looks like she's, I don't know, that finger looks like it's bent. Ugh, sorry. Um, yeah. But yeah, hands are really hard for me to do. <laughs> so after we're done with the sketching, I feel like this isn't the way I want it to look like, which usually always happens when I make these videos. They're never, like, I don't know why when I do drawing videos, it's just not as like, in the zone, I guess. I'm not in the zone because I know that I'm being recorded, so I'm like not as confident. <laughs> I'm not feeling this at all. I'm not feeling. Okay, we're gonna fix this. I'm gonna make her. And if you guys are wondering where Luke is, he is at dad's house, his dad's other house, um, doing some stuff. Oh, that looks cuter. I think that was just like bothering me. All right. So what we're going to do now is we're going to lower the opacity of this one, make a new layer. And on the new layer, I'm going to start the outlining. So the outlining pen that I use, it's my favorite eyelash brush. I don't know where I got this brush set. I also bought it from a set that was being sold and it was originally like for lashes, but I use it to all my stuff because I just like how it draws. So I'm gonna do that and I do like to keep my cartoons kind of in the same size range. So I'm gonna just choose this real quick and match the pen size and I never know what pen size I use you would think that I would remember right I think it's 40 yeah I think it's 40 so then delete that sorry new layer again and then we start the outlining so let's start the outlining Once I have finished the outline, I start doing the coloring and I deselect the sketch one to see if it looks good. It looks kind of funky, so I'll change anything that I think looks a little weird. So like this line here is not straight, as you can see, so I'll just fix that right here and then erase the other one. this because that's not right Oops. and we should be able to start coloring so I'm just gonna fix this line because that's just not the way I want it to be make it more lower and then erase this part my, the coloring part is always my favorite part because it really gets put together and then you actually see more of like I guess it adds personality so 
I don't know why. Why is this doing this? My pen is being weird. But yeah, and then we start coloring and then add some um, changes if I need to. I'm gonna fix this line actually and just make it more wavy like because her hair is wavy like I said. And then we're gonna start coloring. So to color, I actually duplicate the outline and um, this will be on top, but I fill in the bottom layer that I just did. So for example, I am going to match the skin color with this. So let's go and choose that real quick and just select the color so I can match it, delete it, and then back to that bottom layer. So we're not gonna touch the top layer because that's our outline. We're gonna do the second layer, which we're going to fill. Um, so I drag and drop. And then just drag and drop in any areas that need to be filled. And then we start, sorry, <laughs> then we start doing like shading and stuff. So for shading, I just put a new layer and I start like, for example, the skin, I'm going to do like a darker color, add some saturation, and then we're just going to start filling that in. I don't like how dark that is, so I'm going to go a little bit brighter. Yeah, this is how I do the shading, and then I can make it bigger if I want it to be more, you know, or smaller. Start filling where you would think shading goes, I guess. Oops. I've been standing this whole time, I just realized. And then fill. If you guys hear Pudgy snoring, she's snoring. <laughs> Fill her ear. Oops. Go. And then I do highlights on the eye, so I actually put that layer over the outline layer. I should really start labeling my layers, but I never do. <laughs> and then I use Fave Soft Blend, also a pen set that I got. Um, I don't remember what it was. Sorry guys, but yeah, it's just like a blend bl brush. And I add highlights to it and then um, just like extra details in the eyes that make it pop more. So. do hair highlight so I just select actually I, I can keep it white actually 
because the highlight pen that I use is in the blends and it's everything smudge brush and oops, just like this. I can actually, I think I want to make it a different color, so I'm just going to make it like this color. And then I just add little highlights to her hair to make it look like it's shiny. That is what hair is, shiny. My hair doesn't really shine anymore because it's dead. <laughs> There you go, and then I feel like I'm missing something. This do some little jade marks on here. Make it look like shiny-ish. Or make it look like it's jade. I'm gonna put like a little bit of some yellow in here to make it look more like it's burning. Yeah. Oh, that's what I was gonna add. I'm gonna do like some red, make it go like this. I kind of just wing some of this stuff. But that's what the best art comes out from. I'm making her look kind of high. I don't know if I like that. Um, so we're not gonna do that. But maybe use a different brush because I don't like that brush. And we're just gonna new layer that every time. There you go. That looks more like, oh yeah. Sana. And just erase some of that. Actually. I've always wanted to make like cartoons, like an actual cartoon show, because I used to watch a lot of cartoons. But yeah, and that is the finished product. Here is a better angle at the cartoon, and look at that, all the shading. So what I do with this is I save it without the background color so it becomes like a transparent. And I share this as a PNG to save it. Sorry for all the fingerprints. So it, it would be share, share image, PNG, exporting, and you can save it. Saved. And then I take this actually to PixArt. So um, I just like the feature that they have. Sorry, I gotta go find it. Um, color backgrounds makes it transparent. You add the photo and get that one that you just selected, add it, or the art that I just did. And then I kind of, I like adding a border to it before I print this out as a sticker. So they have like these features right here. And I like doing the border. You can also add shadows and stuff too, which is cool. But this is just what I do for the stickers. It just makes it easier to cut and stuff yeah and I can adjust the thickness or what color I want but I'm gonna leave that there and then I'm going to save it so now what we're gonna do is we are going to print this and when I make stickers I'm actually gonna show you guys how I do the stickers I usually cut it with my scan and cut brother but 
that's in storage right now because all of our stuff basically was put in storage but I decided I actually do want to print some more stickers but I already had put it in the storage and it's way deep in the storage so <laughs> I am just going to have to cut it with my hands. So I also just made some of Luke's mom and her little kitty cats. So this is Ko and her two cats. She has more, but uh, she just wanted these two done. And this is Princess and Blue. So I'm gonna get these printed with Jordan stickers as well. She has been sleeping. <laughs> so. Here are the other stickers. These are the ones that I made for my mom. And I am going to print the stickers out. This is my printer. And these are the final sticker paper that I use. And I print them using the option photo on photo paper. And then it just prints on these. And there's glossy. They also have matte ones too. But So I have the files here. So what I do is I select it. I put file print and then it has all my stuff already um, saved from my previous prints but yeah if you see here under presets you can do photo on plain paper photo on photo paper that is the one that I'm going to be using because it is a glossy paper and then I just print it and then print right here and then the printer is gonna beep it beeps it just lets me know that the option that I have is for glossy paper so I just have to give an okay to that so I'm putting the glossy paper in and then I just press okay two times and it's ready to print oh my god it jammed sorry this never happens I just <laughs> there you go it is printing and yeah, it prints really slow because it is doing this type of paper, so it takes a bit longer. See what I'm saying? It prints really, really slow. <laughs> so I just printed everything and then I cut them with my paper cutter uh, just so it's easier and I don't waste like as much of the clear film that I'm going to put on top of it after I spray. But I printed out a couple different sizes for them. Um, these are for like cars, um, they can put it on their laptop. I printed out really tiny ones so that they can put it on the back of their phone if they want or like right here. Um, I printed this one. I got this at, um, I actually got this at CorgiCon but they were selling like, like pug stickers. And then yeah, they can decorate their laptop with the other ones if they want. So, so this looks crazy but <laughs> I use this and I put the stickers on there so that I can like spray them um, because I don't want to just spray them on the floor as you can see oh. my mic dropped as you can see it does leave a little bit of a residue so I um, it's like the gl glossiness so I don't want to do that like on the floor uh, I actually do this outside in the garage so we're gonna put the stickers on here we're gonna spray them and then yeah. By the way, this is the UV resistant clear spray that I use. I got this on Amazon because they didn't have any at Walmart or anywhere that I wanted or that I went to, so I just ordered it online. Let's go and spray these. So I have the stickers here and I'm gonna spray it with this as I said. Let's start spraying. And I do spray first just like a little dot somewhere because sometimes it shoots out like random dots. If that makes sense. <laughs> All right. So we're gonna do a couple layers of this. I just wait a couple, like 10 or 15 minutes in between layers. So some um, spray paint asthma for you, except it's not spray paint. It's yeah. 
Nice. So we wait a couple minutes for that to dry and then we'll do a couple more layers and then we'll be able to put on the clear film on top, which makes it super shiny. Good morning, it is the next day and I'm gonna make coffee and finish those stickers. film on top of the stickers. Now it is time to cut the stickers. As I mentioned, I don't have my cutting machine, so I am hand cutting all of the stickers. So I just finished the Christmas cards I decided to put in them. Drew this and printed it and then signed it. And I used like a plastic to keep the stickers in. All right guys, that's the end of the video. And this is how I make stickers and cartoons. So I really hope you guys enjoy this video and hopefully I can do more videos like this in the future. If you guys like this video, go ahead and subscribe and like the video. I know it was a really long video, but I wanted to show you guys the full process of what it takes to do all of this. So anyways, thank you again so much for watching and see you guys on the next video.